Good evening, Mom. Good evening to Gagan Sai. Today is the eighth class mathematics chapter number sixth chapter square roots and cube roots. Today we will learn the exercise six point three. All problems and solutions. Today we will learn the sixth, seventh, eighth problems. Today we will learn it only in Telangana State Book page number one forty one. Previous class one to five problems. It's over. Are you understood of the previous class, Gagan Sai? Are you any doubt in our previous class? No doubt. So today we will learn the remaining problems. In the same exercise. So let's start the today class. Yeah. First, yeah, uh, this uh, class is it's over. This is the uh, today we will learn the revision classes only. But first, sixth problem. Today we will learn the sixth one. First of all, I read the problem in our textbook. Be carefully, listen better, neatly. I read it. Find the least perfect squares with four digits. Four digits. Um, I have to find the least perfect square with four digits. I have to find out it only. First, write the solution. The least, the smallest four digits number. Do you know the smallest four digit number? No. Yeah, thousand. You already know that is. That uh, is the smallest four digit number. The smallest four digit number. Nine nine nine. Number. Equal thousand. You already know. Previous number. Previous number is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. But this is three digits only. But I want the four digit number. So that's why this one is the smallest number. Next after number is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine only. So this is the bigger only, but I want the smallest four digit number. So that's why this is the smallest four digit number. Thousand is the smallest four digit number. Okay? Yeah, this number is it a perfect square or not? First, if check by using the division method. So first, put the bars on each page. Next, write the squares. How to write the squares? All are squares. Three, uh, two square, two square is four. Next, three square is nine. Four square is sixteen. So we choose the this one. Three square. Three into three, nine. So carry out the division. We get the remainder. The subtracting of these two terms, borrowing of ten. Ten minus ten. Uh, ten minus nine is one. Remainder is one. Next, write the new divided only. So bring bring down the next pair of the pair of the number only. So next, find the new divisor. So how will you find out the new divisor? Double the coefficient. So three is double is six only. Next, write the box on its the right hand side. Next, how many possible digits to fill the box? Here it is, the zeros only. New divided is lost with digit is zero. So first two into two four. Last digit is four. Next sixty two cross two. Two only two possible digit two cross two is four. So two two jaw four 
so this is the bigger only this is the very small so that's why this is the three digit only so we choose this number only okay we should take this one only we write it the two write the box in our box two two into two sixty two into two we will get this one only one twenty four nearest number so subtracting of these two we get the ma one twenty four minus hundred minus twenty four subtracting of these two terms we will get this one only remainder is minus twenty four so this is the not perfect square thousand is not a perfect square so least number find the least perfect square with four digits so, least number mm, minus twenty four should be added to the thousand then we will get the perfect square that number is perfect square only are you understood kagan say therefore 24 is added added to the thousand then we will get a perfect square get perfect square thousand Plus twenty four, we will get the one thousand twenty four. Is it a perfect square only? So least number is find the least perfect square with the four digit number. What's the four digit number? This one only. So therefore, the least perfect square. Perfect square with uh, four digit. This is the four digit. Is it four digit? Gagan say yes. With the uh, with the four digits. Four digits equal to one thousand twenty four. If suppose ten thousand minus twenty four subtracting, we will get the three digits only. Okay, I want the Least perfect square with four digits only. So, subtracting, uh, adding of this one only. Twenty four is added to the thousand. Then we will get the perfect square. Suppose if suppose thousand minus twenty four. This is the ten. Borrowing of ten ma minus four is six only. Next nine. Nine minus two. Seven. So nine, three digits number only. Okay. So but in our question is don't ask three digits only. So ask in a what is asked in our given problem? Four digits only. Least perfect square. That number is perfect square with four digits compulsory. So that's why twenty uh, four is added to the given number. Then we will get thousand. Uh, then we will get the perfect square only. This one only. Check it if it says this number is a perfect square or not. Check it only. As yes, uh, that number is perfect square only. Ten twenty four. So perfect square three three ja nine. So one twenty four. Next three is double only six. Okay sixty two two ja one twenty four. So we will get the remainder is zero. If the remainder is zero, then the number is perfect square. So quotient. What is the um, square root of the given number? This one, uh, one thousand twenty-four square root is thirty-two. Okay, this number. This number is the square root of the given number. This number. Are you clear, Gagan sir? Are you understood? Yeah, this problem. It's over. Solution is over. Next, we will go to the seventh problem. First of all, I read the problem in our textbook only. Find the 
find the least number which must be added to 6412 to make it a perfect square yeah find the least number how to find out the least number that number is should be added to this number what number is given okay well, how to find out the least number what's the least number how to find out that should be added to the given number uh, we will get the one resulting number that number is it a perfect square or not that is the question explanation so over next first given data one number is given Uh, that uh, number this one only otherwise uh, directly also write the solution only given data how to write it the given data that one number is give number equal to uh, 6412 uh, only find the least number what is the least number must be added to the given number to find the least number this number this number is it a perfect square or not i have to find the least number only first write the solution get the solution for this problem again say first given number this number is perfect square or not by using the division method only put the bars on each pair 64 first pair larger number whose square less than or equal to the first pair of the given number 64 so 6 6 the 36 7, 7 square is 7, 7 is 49, 8, 8 is 64, so 8, 8 is 64, so 64 minus 64, 0, next write the new divider. So, how to write the new divided? Bring down the next pair of the given number. Next step, new divisor. How will you find out the new divisor? Double the coefficient. 8 is the double is 16. Next, write the empty box. Write it in the right side of the number. Next, how many possible digits to fill the box? it is 16 only 60 161 into 1 so 161 next 162 into 2 into 2 is possible is it? 2 2 ja 4 2 6 ja 12 2 1 ja 2 plus 3 this is the very big goal so we choose this one only 161 into 1 so 161 subtracting of these two terms how much of value we will get it only so 161 0 1 2 so this is the bigger this is the smaller loan so borrowing of 10 10 plus 1 11 11 minus 2 9 here it is one borrowing is over next Remaining is 5. 5 minus 1, 4. 1. 149. So, minus is the bigger only. So, result is also minus. We write the minus sign only. So, remainder is not 0. So, remainder is something only. So, it is the given number is not a perfect square. So, what should be the least number must be added to the given number. So, the least number, what's the least number? 149 should be added, added to the given number. Then, we will get the, that number is, we will get it a perfect square. Are you clear? 
therefore the least number the least number 149 should be added added to the given number given number is 6000 412 then we will get a perfect square we will get a perfect square okay are you okay gagan say but given number is not a perfect square uh, therefore is it a perfect square no the given number is not a perfect square only is not a no it is not a perfect square okay perfect square so something is added added to the given number then we will get a perfect square what's the something something means is the 149 should be added to the given number then we will get a perfect square so or the therefore the least number i have to find out the least number so the least number equal to 149 this is the answer are clear gagan sir neatly so the given number the resulting number what's the resulting number this one only or should be added of 149 the, the given number therefore the added so 6412 plus 149 then we get the one number 2 plus 9 is 11 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 1 6 4 plus 1 5 plus 6 this is the resulting number this number is is it a perfect square as yes, it is this the number is perfect square only okay if we check it this number is perfect square or not check it only yes. 65 61 same this one only this uh, 81 only we will get the coefficient is 81 only so square root of the given number of uh, this one uh, the resulting number this is resulting number resulting number okay this is a perfect square only but asked here it is only uh, asked here it is the least number asked only so this number is 149 don't ask for the resulting number only so check it if is is it number is a, um, a perfect square or not 8 is 64 so subtracting of these two carry out the division we get the remainder is 1 161 so 161 is a 161 into 1 so next this is the remainder is 1 next write the bring down the next pair of the number next write it on the right side of the remainder next find the new divisor how will you find out the new divisor 8 is double the double only 8 is double is 16 so you write the box on the right side of the number so 61 into 1 is 161 remainder is 0 so it is number is perfect square this number is perfect square only okay are you clear gagan sir neatly are you understood of this problem solution what's the least number should be added this is the four, one uh, 149 should be added to the given number we will get the perfect square only so this is the seventh problem solution is over next we will go to the eighth bit only first i read the problem in our textbook estimate the value of the following numbers to the nearest whole numbers in this bit one to three problems is give so 
these all are is all are the uh, root 97 and root 250 and root 7 780 these all are all are the problems all are the numbers given numbers you all are not of perfect squares only okay so in this cases we at least needed to estimate the square root only how to find out the square root of the numbers do you know the square uh, square numbers gagan sai ya 1 2000 numbers you already learned in the previous classes yeah these all are is the 1 to 1000 all are the square numbers only so yeah first one by one today we will learn it only what's the estimated value of the following number to the nearest whole number this this uh, given number what's the how to estimate the value approximately value so how to find out the approximately value of the given numbers nearest nearest approximate value of the given number how to find out it only one by one so first one first problem given is this number is given given data how to write it in our given problem the given is the number is give number equal to root 97 so to find estimate the value or approximately in the value the estimate estimate the value of the number of the given number how to estimate the value of the given number first write the solution at the solution for this problem 97 So ninety seven, ninety seven is lies between the square numbers. Do you know the square numbers? Can I say you already know the square numbers only? So ninety seven, ninety seven is lie lie between the perfect squares. perfect squares 81 to 100 okay 99 to 81 you already know the all are the perfect square numbers okay lies between the first first step wise today we will learn it to this problem only step 1 is the identify the two squares between which the given numbers lies so 97 given number is 97 only 97 lies between the perfect two squares between these two only so if you already know the squares only 81 and 100 previous is the 81 and before number and after is 100 only so 97 is it the is it between their gagan say 81 to 100 yes it is between their own um, given number so the squares is between the given number is lies between these two only this is step 1 next step to find the closest perfect square in the range so 9 81 is 9 square is less than the given number 97 less than 100 100 and means is 10 square okay are clear gagan sai next 9 is less than root 97 is less than 
tenho. Are you understood, Gagansai? Yeah, first one 97. The given number is 97. 97 is lies between the perfect squares. We know that the squares again say 9 square equal to 81 and 10 square equal to 100 only. We know that this uh, these all are only 10 square equal to 100. This is the first step one. Step one is the identify the two squares. Numbers between which the given number lies only. Next, find the closest perfect squares in the range. This range only 81 less than the given number less than 100 only. Between is the between there. Between these two numbers between is there 97 yes. Between there only. So root of 81 equal to 9 and root of 100 equal to 10 only. So 81. Next step, three step, find the approximately square root by choosing the closest value. So, 81, you write it the 9 square, less than 97, less than 100, is you write it the 10 square only. So, I want the root 97. So, 9. 9 less than root of 97 less than 10 only. Now which one is the nearest to the whole number? 97 is nearest to this one only. Okay. Therefore, 10. 10 is much, much closer closer to 97 than than 9 only okay okay therefore the approximate value the estimated the value the estimated the estimated or approximated approximate value value of the given number value of given number root 97 equal to 10 only 10 is very nearest to the given number only so that is the answer is 10 only what's the answer final answer 10 are you clear the answer neatly mm -hmm. this is the final answer it's over and next second number only 250 Second is a given number, given data, how to write it in your given problem. So, given equal, the number is give. give that is the root 250. Is give to find the estimate value. Same, all are the, in this three problems is, to find asked question is same only. All are the, Above same. Write the solution. Or to write the solution. First, one by one only. 250. First step one. Identify the two squares. Lies between. Uh, two squares between. Uh, which the given number lies. 250 is lies between the 100 to 400 only. This is the step 1. 250 is lie between 100 to 400. Okay. We know that the squares between this one only. Next step 2. Find the Closest perfect squares in the range. First, we know that the squares 15 square equal 225. Next, 16 square equal 256. So, step 2 
is this one over 250 100 100 is lies between and the, the given number is lies between this one only 100 to 400 so this is the find the closest perfect squares in the range what is the squares this one this one only so 225 225 is less than 250 less than what's the 400 is 256 okay these two perfect numbers 250 is lies between the these two perfect numbers only that point is also you write it gagan side 250 is lie between between perfect squares perfect squares Well, here's this one and 225 next 256 225 to 256 225 to 256 only so this is the middle of the middle of the given number only so 225 we write it the 15 square less than 250 next 250 square you write it 16 square but I want the root root of 250 only so 15 is a root of 250 and next 16 only. 16 square you do uh, are you understood again say 225 root equal 15 into 15 so 15 square into root 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 cancel so 15 only okay 15 square root is changes to square square is transposing to root root is transposing to square only so this one only so which one is the nearest to the given number when well, whole number this one 250 here this is the 256 nearest is the, this one only Okay, are you clear? Therefore, 256 is more or much, much closer to the given number than, than this one, 225. Therefore, the estimated the value, the estimate the estimate or approximate approximate the value value of the given number given number is root 250 equal to 60 okay this is the final answer are you clear gagan san italy step 3 what's the step 3 Find the approximately square root only by choosing the closest value, square root only. This is the third step. Are you clear, Gagan Sai Italy? Yeah, this problem solution is over, and next we will go to the third problem. 7 80. Here it is the no space. So, third problem. First, what's the uh, given number? This one only. First, given data how to write it in your given problem so what's the given one number is give here it is the no space you can say so that's why i am explaining in this space in, in this space i am explaining this one third problem last bit the number the number is root of 7 8 this is a number is give next to find the same only estimated the approximate value of the given number only so same above no problem okay next write the solution first 780 
seven eighty. Uh, we know the squares we can say you already know the squares in our textbook is also one c c beta these are seven eight seven eighty means seven hundred seven hundred is twenty seven we know that the squares twenty seven seven twenty nine next twenty eight square twenty eight square is seven eighty four these are all is the squares only in the previous problem is also same uh, what's that two twenty five 256 lies between the 250 only okay 250 is lies between these two only 15 is 15 and 16 only so in this problem 780 780 is 729 784 lies between the 27 and 28 only okay okay yeah yeah first 780 780 is lie This is the step one seven eight is lie uh, between 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 two perfect squares two perfect squares square numbers two perfect square numbers seven twenty nine. Two seven eighty four. Okay. Next seven twenty step two is seven twenty nine is less than seven eighty is less than seven eighty four. Find the closest perfect squares in the range. This is the range between the given number is between these two only. So. Next seven twenty nine seven twenty nine or root seven twenty nine root seven twenty nine equal twenty seven. Next root seven eighty four equal twenty eight. Okay seven twenty nine twenty seven square twenty seven into twenty seven. We write it this one only. Next seven eighty one. Next, this is the third step. What's the third step? Find the approximately square root by choosing the closest value. So this is the seven eighty four is twenty eight square. Okay, you write it this one only. Seven twenty nine. You write it the twenty seven square. This is the twenty eight square only. So, but this is the I want the root only. Square root of the given number. So square root of the given number equal to twenty seven. Twenty seven is twenty seven, and this is the what's the twenty eight? Okay. Are you clear, Gagan Sai? Twenty seven square and seven eighty and twenty eight square only. What's that? One seven hundred twenty nine square root is twenty seven only. This square root is twenty eight only. Seven eighty four square root is twenty eight and square root. But I want ask I want the given number is square root only. So these are all are the square roots. Which number is nearest to the um, nearest to the given number? Can you say given whole number? Twenty seven eighty to seven eighty four is very nearest to to this one only. So twenty eight is the answer. So estimate the value of the given number. Answer is twenty eight. This is very nearest only. So that is the approximately value. That is the final answer is twenty eight only. Okay, are you clear? Therefore. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight means twenty-eight or seven eighty-four is more, more or much closer, closer to seven eighty than twenty-seven or twenty-seven twenty-nine. So therefore, the 
estimate the value estimate the value of the given number the given number what's the given number root 780 equal to this one what's the 28 this is this is very nearest very nearest to the 7 or since or this one okay this this is and this name this one this is very nearest to this one only nearest to this one only otherwise this one only 20 28 or 784 is nearest nearest to 700, 781 okay so estimate the value of the given number or approximate level therefore approximate or ends 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 the approximate value approximate value of the given number is root 7 80 equal 28 this is the final answer are you clear gagan sanitly but don't write it the steps only oral i say only but you already it's four steps with steps and examples is also it's four in your previous classes so only uh, step wise today we will learn it all problems only yeah very very simple and uh, easy process gagan say first you know the squares numbers only we know that all are the squares 1 to 1000 all are the squares is uh, um, remembering only. So you write it the squares only. What's the um, between these two only? Uh, which numbers are between these two of the given number is uh, which numbers are between these two and the squares you write it only. So next uh, approximately the square root of the uh, choosing the closest to value so which one is uh, which number is uh, near to this the uh, the given whole number only that number is final answer that is the estimated value and approximately value of that number only that is the very simple only problem side three steps it's over these problems and solutions a lot of the problems it's over and uh, today exercise is also it's over all problems and solutions it's over say thank you have a nice day like share and subscribe